Welcome back, nail crew. Welcome back. I have a full set of nails for you guys today. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you be part of the nail crew. And while you're at it, hit the bell so you know when I upload next. For everyone else, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So I'm doing a full set today, and these beautiful hands belong to Heather. Do you notice that engagement ring on her hand? Well, guess what, guys? She gets married tomorrow. She's having a beach wedding. So her nails today, these are wedding nails, but they're not like the typical boring white French tip baby boomer. Then no, 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 no. She's getting beach nails. So we're going to do something blue. So you guys all know the saying when you get married, right? You need something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. So her nails today are going to be blue and it's going to be the something blue that you need when you get married so yes I have a big job I have to do her wedding nails I have to give her something blue they have to be pretty they have to have like the whole beach vibe so I'm excited and she's not like a traditional girl she's not going to wear like a white gown blah blah like she's not gonna do all of that foo-foo stuff Heather literally and I freaking love this Heather told me She's going on a beach, they're getting married, then they're walking across the street to the bar and they're going to have some beers and they're going to just have a good time and then boom, off to the hotel. Boom, like that's her plan and I love it. I love it. I, that is so Heather. That is literally Heather. So I have to give her some nails that'll match the whole vibe of the day. And first of all, Heather, congratulations again, again, again. I just want to say that again. Congratulations, and I really, really hope that you guys stay married forever and you guys stay in love forever. That's what I hope. You guys stay in love forever. And your baby is gorgeous, so I hope that you guys have at least one more. <laughs> now, she might not like that part. <laughs> She's probably going to listen to this and be like, okay, girl, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> But the baby is so cute. The baby is so, so, so beautiful. So beautiful. So anyway, okay, okay. Enough with that. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Many more good years to come to you guys. I hope I do you justice on this set. So anyway, I went ahead and prepped her nails as you guys saw. And now I'm about to go in with the ball bit. And the ball bit is for her cuticles. So you're going to see me right here test it on the back of her hand just so that she can see what it feels like. Because again, with this ball bit, guys, remember, you're going right on the epinichium. You're going right on the skin. You're going to use this ball bit to smooth out any calluses, any dried skin. You're going to remove dead skin and dead tissue. And you're going to smooth out hangnails. So this one goes right up on the skin. So you want to prepare your client for that so that they don't move or jump back or think that you're doing anything wrong. So now that the prep is almost done, let's go ahead and grab our alcohol acetone mixture and and let's just scrub. So at this part, I'm very vigorous and you have to be because you just created a lot of dust. And if you leave that on the nail, then the nails will lift. So I am a little vigorous with this part. And I always apologize. Like I let people know, like I'm rough with this brush, but you know, it's not going to cut them. It's not going to harm them in any way, but I am a little bit rough when it comes to that part. Oh, well, oh, well, I gotta be, you know, I just have to be. It's just, I just have to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on these tips and I'll glue them off camera just to save time. So the nail tips are glued on and I went ahead and cut them to the length she wanted. Actually, I left it a little bit longer than the desired length because I know that in the end when I finish file, I'll be filing back and I don't want them too short. So she told me how long she wanted them. I left them a little bit longer so that in the end she'll get the length that she actually wanted. I hope that made sense. So basically find out what length the client wants, cut them a little bit longer than that. And then when you file back in the end, everyone's happy. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. I dusted everything off with the alcohol again because I'm obsessed. I'm just obsessed, okay? So now I'm going in with the primer. I let the primer dry and then I go in with my base coat. So for everyone that watches me regularly, you guys know no matter what nails I'm doing, I'm going to use base coat as a primer, quote unquote, as a primer, right? Because it helps to prime the nails. It helps to keep everything else on and you have nails that last forever, forever. People keep asking me, why do you put gel before your acrylics? 
because it helps with adhesion. A lot of times, myself included, we don't get our nails done but like once a month, which is horrible because you should be getting your nails filled every two to three weeks. But sometimes I go that five, six weeks, guys. I really just do. And sometimes my clients do as well because we're all so busy. That gel polish really helps with adherence and it just makes the nails last long. There's no lifting. There's no greenies. There's no nail funguses. I really, really love this technique. This is just something that I started using one day and ever since then, I just fell in love with it and I've been doing it ever since. So today, the base coat that I'm using is from the company Not Polish. And I do have a coupon code, guys. So I will leave the link to everything that I use today as well as coupon codes in the description box. So make sure you check my description box if you decide to go shopping, okay? So now what I'm doing, guys, is testing the colors for her. She needed something blue, as we said, right? So I brought to her all my blues. She picked the colors that she wanted, but you see me swatching the gold and the glitter because I just wanted to find out which one was going to match better with the blue. And now I'm trying to match her with a nude. So I think for her skin tone, Nude Panther by Not Polish works very well. So just to be sure, I'm going to swatch it here on the paper child so that she can see it as well. And I think that is so pretty though. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put that in the pile over here to the right. I have about five or six jars of acrylic open. I don't intend to use all of them, but I just need them there. I just need them there. <laughs> Give me a little bit of motivation. Give me like some ideas of what to do and different combinations. But generally, I know that we're going to do blue, obviously. And then there's going to be some glitter and the glitter is going to represent the sand because it's really supposed to give you like that beach vibe you know I wish I had like maybe some seashell type embellishments or maybe like a starfish type embellishment or maybe like a little mermaid type pendant or something I think that would have been very nice to bring in the whole beach theme but I don't have any of that so we just have to make do with what we have also we are on a time crunch we are on a time crunch because she came over here with her entire family because as soon as they leave my house they are whoop heading to the destination to get married so I'm literally the last stop the last stop before she get married I feel so special. I feel so special. <laughs> I'm the last stop. So I have to be quick. I have to be quick because she's here with her fiance and her two daughters. And it's like, all right, Nikki, they're going to get antsy real fast. So you have to do something quick. Like there's no time to be trying to swirl nothing. There's no time to be trying to be fancy, get the nails done, get in, get out. So that was my objective today. Do something cute, but fast before the kids got restless. So yeah, that's, that's the name of the game today. Something blue, something beach vibe, something wedding-y wedding -y. is that a word wedding -y? wedding -y? yeah okay something cute something blue something beachy something wedding -y. and fast that's the goal that is the goal so right now you guys see me just adding a little bit of clear and I'm adding the clear as a base before we add on our color so the blue that I'm going in is from the company I gel beauty and I do not have a coupon code for this blue guys but I will leave the link to I gel beauty in the description box and the name of the color is Caribbean sea so appropriate for a beach wedding right absolutely appropriate oh my gosh I wish you all the luck Heather with your marriage <laughs> she's watching this video she's like oh my god Nikki you're ridiculous but I do I love you I love your husband for you like you guys just seem to click and mesh so well oh my god you guys are just so cute so anyway here we go with the blue and it's very nice I mean the thing with eye gel beauty guys I have to admit it y'all the thing with eye gel beauty some of their colors are are hit or miss that's the only problem like you could buy five colors three of them will work perfectly and then the last two will be kind of weird to use it'll just be weird but right now i'm not having any problems with this blue thank god it's going on very well and the color is gorgeous you cannot deny how beautiful that color is on her skin tone that is very very nice very, very, very nice. So shout out to iGel Beauty for that. And then now I'm going in with this gold glitter. It is also from iGel Beauty. And the name of this color is The Palace. The Palace. 
which is also very cool. That's also a very fitting name because I hope that you guys feel like you are king and queen in a palace after the wedding. I really do. I really do. So this is supposed to represent kind of like the sand. So obviously the blue is the water, the ocean, and then here we have the sand. So that is that. So far, we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> so far we are on theme <laughs> so this middle finger i'm going to mash up the two and i'm going to have an ombre so you'll get the water and you'll get the sand and obviously that makes the beach so the way that i'm doing my little ombre is to work backwards which is kind of weird but it works guys it works so i'm working from the tip to the middle with the blue and then when I go in with the pink color or the cover color I'm going to work from the cuticle down so I'm going to let the colors meet in the middle and I feel like that gives you a better ombre to me that works a little bit better so the cover color that I'm using or this peach color is nude panther and it is from the company not polish so again I do not have a coupon code for IGL Beauty, not yet anyway, if you guys see this video and want to give me a coupon code, I'm sure the nail crew would appreciate it, but I don't have a coupon code for them. I do have a coupon code for Not Polish, so again, I will leave all that information in the description box. So now I'm just trying to fade in the blue and the pink. I don't need it to fade too much because I am going to go in with glitter. So with that being said, I'm not working on blending my ombre too perfectly because I know I'm going in with glitter, so look right here, I'm adding that glitter right where the line of separation would be and I'm going to pat it and blend it and move it down so the purpose of me using that nude color under the glitter was because I wasn't sure if the glitter was going to be opaque enough to cover that blue so therefore I just added that cover color just as a little added security just to make sure that the blue would be covered and there'd be some kind of fade or gradient and I think that it came out very nice I'm gonna add a little bit more glitter and so now we have the all water nail we have the all sand nail and then now we have a mixture of the two right here on the middle finger I don't know what I'm gonna do for the other two nails <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I really just don't know I don't know I don't know I didn't think that far ahead I thought those three very quickly as soon as she was like okay what are we gonna do I was like oh bet I got it and then I was like uh I don't know <laughs> that I got lost so I'm just gonna go ahead and add another blue nail just you know because I don't know that'll give me time to think about what I'm gonna do when it comes to adding the embellishments at the end because you know I gotta put a little bling on it what is a wedding set of nails without bling so duh we're adding bling okay so I feel like another blue nail would be perfect as like the backdrop to some bling right absolutely heck yeah so i think i'm gonna do this one blue obviously and then i'll do the thumb blue as well so we'll have three solid blues one solid gold and then an ombre i think that'll be pretty and then i'll add some gold embellishments at the end just to make everything tie together and that will be a beautiful beachy vibe right yeah that's what i'm thinking that's what i see in my head so now i just have to execute it but so far these colors are so pretty, so pretty. I mean, it just matches her skin just so well. It's just so pretty. <laughs> I keep telling her that. I'm like, Heather, these are so pretty on you. These are so pretty. And I'm not even done yet. Like, wait till I add the top coat and just bring it all together. Oh, oh, my God. I feel like I'm getting married. <laughs> oh my gosh it's just so pretty on her all right so now that i'm on the thumb the last finger on this hand let me just recap everything i did just in case there's any beginners that are watching me and you guys are lost so in the beginning of the video you saw me prep her nails and i always prep the same so if you guys are confused about prepping you can just rewind the beginning of the video or i do have other videos in which i prep with a little bit more detail so anyway i prep the nails right you saw me clean the nails off and i keep getting questions about it what am i cleaning the nails with all it is is alcohol and acetone i mix alcohol and acetone in my bottle and that's how i clean sanitize and dehydrate the nail plate right once i let that dry i go in with primer after the primer dries, I go in with a gel base coat. So the gel base coat that you guys saw me use today is from the company Not Polish. And again, like I said, coupon code and everything will be in the description box. But any base coat will work for this, guys. 
any gel base coat will work. I just want to put that out there. But I do have a couple favorites. I do have a couple favorites. I must admit that. Um, but again, get what's in your budget. Get what you can afford. The base coat that I was using before was from the Gel Bottle Ink. That base coat is very good, but it's very expensive. Very expensive. You're going to spend well over $20 for one bottle of polish, okay? It's very expensive, and you can only get it if you have a license now, okay? That's the gel bottle ink. That's what I was using before. But like I said, it is very expensive, and I just wanted to give you guys some other options. So after I added the base coat, I cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds, right? Once you take your hands out of the lamp, it will be sticky. The gel polish does leave a sticky inhibition layer. Do not wipe that off. You're going to apply a very thin layer of clear acrylic right over the top of that gel polish, okay? So you don't wipe off the sticky inhibition layer. You apply a thin layer of clear right on top of that. And then you're ready to go with whatever color or set or design that you planned on doing. So today, in this case, as you can see, it was blue and gold. So I applied my acrylic. Once my acrylic was applied and laid, then as you can tell right now, I'm just encapsulating everything in clear. So I like to encapsulate everything in clear. That way I use less colored acrylic, number one, but also it saves my color, it saves my design, it saves my artwork, and it just allows everything to be a nice smooth finish. So in the end, I'll have less finished filing. So I'm pretty much done right now. I'm going to let those dry while I clean up, which is typically what I do. I use this time to just clean up so there's no dead space. And then I'm going to go in and file. So I'm using a hand file. The hand file I'm using is from Not Polish. This is a very, very coarse file, okay? Beginners, beware, beware. This is a coarse foul and you can cut somebody with a hand foul. I know a lot of you guys are afraid of the e foul because you feel like you could cut someone with an e foul, which is true. Caution is very good. It's very good to have caution. But you guys also need caution with a hand foul, especially if it's a very coarse, sturdy hand foul like this one. You can cut someone with this one as well. So be very, very careful. This is a thick, coarse, file be careful you have been warned but i do like it because it's giving me crisp lines with less effort so i'm not doing a lot of hand work to get the lines that i want i'm basically just like rubbing it against the nail and it's coming out the way that i want it to come out so that's very very good and i don't want to make the edges too sharp because like i mentioned she does have a baby um, and we don't want to cut the baby. So I'm going to give her some crisp lines, but not too pointy on the ends. Like, I don't want to cause any trauma here. So anyway, just filing, filing, filing. Then I'm going to go in with my e-file to smooth over the tops of the nail. So I like to use my e-file less than 20. Usually 10 to 12 is normally where I live when filing the surface of the nails. About 10 to 12, I feel like that's pretty standard. Um, I definitely don't try to go past 20 when I'm using an e-file unless I'm doing some debulking of a nail or I'm trying to like remove the acrylic from a nail or something like that. But I think that's important for me to tell you guys, try to stay at about less than 12, especially if you're a beginner. And I think you'll be fine. Also, if you guys notice, I am using a safety drill bit. I don't always use a safety drill bit, but I do recommend it if you are a beginner. Okay, so nails are filed. They're smooth. They look so beautiful. The only thing left to do is to add a little bling, add a little bling, add a little pizzazz. So I'm going to go in with some gold bling. Of course we got to use gold. Of course we got to use gold. That's just going to match with the glitter and tie everything together. So I'm just throwing the bling on her nails. And I listen, y'all, I know I fast forward this clip. So it looks kind of like I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Okay, I did not. I moved those stones around so many times. I know she thought I was crazy literally y'all <laughs> like I put the stones in the middle of the nail I moved them from the middle to the top then I moved them from the top to back to the middle then from the middle to the bottom of the nail and then finally I was like okay 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 this is good enough and then I cured them for 10 seconds so let me walk you guys through the process of me laying my bling again so what I do 
I use hard gel, guys. Hard gel. You keep asking me why my stones stay on so long. What's my secret? My secret is hard gel. That's literally it. There's no fancy bling gel. There's nothing fancy. I use hard gel. It's cheaper. You get more quantity and it lasts just as long, if not longer. So I applied a little bit of hard gel to the nails where I want the bling to go. Then I applied my bling. I moved them around until I was happy. Then I put it in the lamp and I flash cured it for 10 seconds. So if you guys notice, when I was doing the right hand and I started out with the pointer finger, I added the bling. I let that cure for 10 seconds. That 10 second flash cure is just to hold it in place while I moved on to the next bling nail. If you don't flash cure between nails, then the gel is going to get warm and the bling will slide out of place. So you wanna make sure you flash cure it for at least 10 seconds to hold it in place before you move on to the next nail. So that's what I did. After all the bling was placed on that right hand, I let her do a full cure for 60 seconds while I moved on to the left hand. So now you guys see me doing the bling on the left hand and it's the exact same process. Add the hard gel, add the bling, flash cure 10 seconds, move on to the next nail. Once the whole hand is done, fully cure for a full 60 seconds. So that is that. The hardest thing for me is trying to decide where I want the bling, what size bling to use and things like that. That always is like the hardest, but once I get it, I get it and I love it. Alrighty, so now that all the bling is applied and fully cured i'm going in with this glossy glossy top coat from not polish so now you're probably wondering oh my gosh why is she putting the top coat right on top of the stones that's not right nikki shame on you shame on you okay so here you go y'all because you're you're half right you're half right you're half right but you're half wrong so with ab stones and stones that catch the light you do not want to add top coat on top of those stones because then they won't catch the light as well. However, I'm not using those type of stones. I'm using some gold stones. It has like a gold kind of varnish or finish to it. Obviously, it's not real gold. So this type of embellishment will fade. However, by adding the top coat, it seals it off from the sun, from chemicals, from all of the elements that will cause it to turn colors the top coat really protects it. So just add some top coat and you will be just fine. So I'm just going to pop her in the oven, pop her in the oven, pop her in the oven and let her bake, bake, bake. And this is what she looks like when she pops out the oven. Glossy, that top coat is banging, super shiny. These nails look absolutely gorgeous. So adorable. <laughs> I'm so glad that I was able to be the something blue. Do you know how iconic that is? I was the something blue. That means in 20 years from now, when she's talking about her wedding and how happy she is even 20 years after she got married, she'd be like, you know what? Those wedding pictures, yeah, you see my nails? Yeah, that was my something blue. Yeah, yeah, Nikki did those. And there's a video of me getting them done. Yes, yes, she's never gonna forget this. I'm gonna forever be like famous now, for her, in her mind at least. <laughs> I did her something blue. Guys, do you know how special that is? That is really special. All right, well, that is it for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.